John 17 is really the message of life. It's the reason we exist. It's the reason God created you and me and everything that you see around you. We're relational beings that were created by a relational God. When Jesus came to earth, he came here because he said, the Father sent me. And why did the Father send him? Because the Father lost something. He lost what was deep in his heart, that he might be the father of a human family that was properly related to him and one another. And he sent him to go and reclaim it and to get it back. Unity is a work of the Holy Spirit. It's providential. It's not about us saying this is what we need to do to become friends or to work together, but we recognize that we are children of God through the work of Christ. We are a fragmented church and we signal to the world that's watching and hungering for truth that we are separated, we are, we are not together. So what Jesus prayed was that we might be one. And certainly, we enjoy the fellowship of being one, but maybe even more importantly, the watching world sees us. And as we walk in unity, the world says, Jesus is Lord. We see that more and more people are excited and more and more people understand that in the state of affairs in which the world is in today, us believers in Jesus Christ need to set aside our theologies and our philosophies that divide. And we need to unite in the Holy Spirit, which unites that love of God. What a powerful, powerful statement from Catholic leaders, evangelical leaders, to come together and say, Despite these differences, at the heart, we are together. We are one. We are in fellowship and in unity as brothers and sisters in the body of Christ.